Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. What do you think depression is like? Depression is more than having a cloud hanging overhead. It's more like an anamorphic monster that presents itself differently in and to everyone. Someone could be functional and seemingly happy and still be battling this monster internally. Depression negatively changes the way you act, feel, and think. It can be alienating and debilitating. So to help you become more aware of the signs of depression, here are five signs most people with depression have. Disclaimer, this video is for informative purposes and not a rubric for self-diagnosis. Depression presents a variety of symptoms that extend beyond those discussed in this video. If you believe that any one of the points mentioned in this video apply to you or someone you know, we highly recommend you consult a medical professional for a diagnosis and treatment. Now, let's begin. Number one, low motivation. Do you find it hard to complete tasks and engage in activities that you once really enjoyed? Low motivation or anhedonia sits at the core of depression. When you're depressed, every little thing may feel draining to do. And it's not that you don't want to do things, but it's just too hard to get up and do it. Unfortunately, low motivation can cause you to become socially withdrawn, foster negative feelings towards yourself and have difficulty adjusting to social situations. Number two, hopelessness or helplessness. A defining characteristic of depression is hopelessness. Hopelessness sets in when you feel stuck and you feel like you no longer see a point in doing anything. Helplessness may then accompany hopelessness and reinforce that idea that there is no point in anything by making you feel as though you are incapable of doing anything. It's like a dark room and helplessness is the locked door. Sometimes your brain can trick you into thinking that things are awful, terrible, and horrible. In these situations, you can try to challenge these distorted thoughts and argue against them. Bring up contrary evidence to what it presents. If you find yourself feeling hopeless, you may want to see if you can identify any recurring thoughts that keep you feeling that way. And perhaps work with a therapist to change these thought patterns. Number three, fatigue. Another common sign of depression is fatigue. Although there is provisional evidence linking fatigue, sleep hormones, and depression, most physicians see a lack of sleep as the cause of depression-related fatigue. However, other factors such as stress, diet, and antidepressants can also cause fatigue. Yoga, massages, tai chi, and deep breathing exercises can be great alternatives to restore sleep and improve fatigue. If you believe that your fatigue is related to lack of sleep, you may wanna to try to establish a bedtime routine as it can help you unwind and signal your brain to produce more melatonin, the sleep hormone. Consult with a doctor if your fatigue persists or you have concerns. Number four, indecisiveness. Do you often find yourself having trouble with making a choice? Depression can have severe impacts on cognition. It can affect your thinking, decision-making, memory, cognitive flexibility, and executive functioning, which may make you appear indecisive or mentally clumsy. Additionally, the lack of hope that is prevalent during depressive episodes can make the decision-making process even more difficult, as you may always expect a negative outcome. Unfortunately, antidepressants do not provide any solution for this symptom. Instead, you may wanna reach out to a therapist to learn healthy ways of coping with this one. And number five, anxiety. The last sign most people with depression exhibit is anxiety. Anxiety and anxiety disorders are typically comorbid with depression, but can exist on their own. According to the NIH, 45% of people who have been diagnosed with one mental health condition meet the criteria for two or more disorders. Some common manifestations of anxiety include feeling like you're in danger, panic, or dread, rapid breathing, and having trouble focusing or thinking. Although both disorders present similar symptoms, their causes are distinct. Some things that you can do on your own that may help alleviate your anxiety include allowing yourself to feel, engaging in simple activities that make you feel in control, like making your bed or taking out the trash, establishing routines, and doing things that bring you comfort. Are there any other common signs of depression that we've missed? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the